little different than all the rest I quite old fashioned wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Eloquently Emmy and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to fashion moment 31 all right <laughs> great to have you here so I mean look at this elaborate setup going on this was just supposed to be simple it wasn't supposed to be complicated I don't know how it evolved <laughs> to this complication but um, I just I wanted to show you uh, some different ways um, to wear black and white. I know that we are kind of between seasons. Now, usually the middle of March in South Carolina, where I live, and that's my birthday, uh, things get warm and they, you know, the, I've already got magnolias on my um, ornamental magnolia, which has these really beautiful pink magnolias. Maybe I'll put a little a clip of it um, above, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Everything else is pretty dead looking. You'll see a couple pear blossoms and cherry blossoms coming up here and there. So we are really um, ahead when it comes to um, spring starting. That being said, we get some cold nights, okay? We get, you know, we're still getting like, you know, 35, 40, or nothing in the zeros. So, and I used to live in the north, so don't, don't go writing me like, you don't know what cold is. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I used to live right by, um, uh, not, not far from Philadelphia. So I know what cold is. I know what snow is. I lived a great portion of my life in that area. Um, so with that being said, I wanted to show you some different looks. Right now, I kind of feel like a ninja in all this black, but it is kind of striking and beautiful. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm going to give you some tips about how to pull this look off. This is something that I can wear um, going out. I could possibly wear it working. This is a lily silk shirt though. I don't think I would wear it working um, unless it was one of those weddings that I have where, um, you know, it's que sera, sera with the cost of the wedding. They're just like, whatever you, whatever you want to charge. And then I really do it up. Um, and, and, and there's weddings that are several days long and, and things like that. So, but otherwise, yeah, I'm going to reserve my beautiful lily silk shirt uh, for when I go out. Talk to you about some lengthening um, tips and what will um, draw your eye in more, what will make you look longer and leaner as an athletic petite or anyone who wants to look long and lean. And I'm gonna show you some visual tricks that you're probably gonna be kind of surprised about. Uh, so, you know, without further ado, hey, I can't wait to do this video for you, so let's get started. lovelies before we get started i wanted to say a brief word about the saint makeup which i'm wearing now i absolutely adore it um, we have a new thing called saint levels so everything that you see below in the description all my links are very valid if you would like a color match you click for a color match to get started with the Saint makeup. If you would like to just go ahead and shop, we have something new called Saint Levels in eight levels. And um, I have them with matching pictures, but you will see the pictures of the faces on my website when you hit that want to shop link. Okay, um, I just posted a, a reel and a video on Instagram and Facebook. So you catch me on Eloquently Emmy 
uh, on Facebook and Instagram and you will see that reel and it kind of holds the picture there for a second so you simultaneously see the colors and see the faces. So if you're that kind that just doesn't want to do the color match or anything, you just want to buy your makeup and you happen to see a face, a complexion, you're like, oh, that's totally me. Well, then you go and I will still be here to be your artist, to help you troubleshoot, to help you with ideas, to help you with technique. Okay, so that's what it's all about. And I'll just say a few more reasons why I love this thing. Let me just give you a little look at it. I mean, look at this beautiful little setup. Um, these are some of my favorite colors. And um, I've got all my powders in here, my eyeshadows. And I've got my creams down here. I've got my highlights, my contour, my illuminators. I've got um, tulip and cheeks. That's the holiday ones. I believe they're still selling them. Anyway, I love this makeup because um, it is just a game changer for me. It is um, basically makeup made easy. I can do my whole face in less than 10 minutes uh, with a non-complicated eye look. Uh, today I did a little more of a complicated look, but um, if you're just talking like two or three eyeshadows, uh, totally, 10 minutes. You, this is totally, so for the, for the busy mom, for the working woman, this is just what you need, okay? You need it because it's gonna change your life. And um, it has such, um, it, you're in control, control of the coverage, okay? You can do a natural look or you can do, um, you know, a more, I wouldn't wanna say glamorous look, okay? Great longevity and it doesn't sit in my fine lines and wrinkles, which is important as a mature person, a 55 year old woman. And um, even if you're younger and if you have a few uh, fine lines, you don't want your makeup to sit <laughs> in them. You want your makeup to enhance you, to become a second skin. So when I put that on and I use my perfector and perfect it in, it looks so lovely. It gives me that beautiful lit from within glow that I love. Um, I, I would never go back to any other makeup. Um, I used to work with makeup artists in, in Philadelphia. They would come and do my customers and I'd watch them and I'd watch their technique and everything. And there is, I can't think of, there's nothing close, closer to an airbrush deal than this. And you can do this for yourself, okay? Every day of the week, it is amazing. It's an occlusive agent, so that means it keeps the moisture in your face. And um, that means a lot to me. That being said, if you have oily skin and you start using this, this will help even out. Because when you put drying, drying things on an oily face, what is your face gonna think? Well, face doesn't think, but as your skin, skin will react in a way that it feels, because you're drying it, that it has to produce more oil. And it's kind of like a vicious cycle. Okay, so don't be afraid of the cream makeup if your skin is oily. Okay, because what, what it does, it's like, oh, I have moisture now. I don't have to produce, produce as much oil. Okay, so that's, I could just go on forever, but I won't because we have a lot of fashioning to do today. Uh, let me just go over briefly what I have on my face. Um, okay, I've done mostly candlelight, uh, just a little bit of sandy here and there. I did not use, uh, I did not have to use any mango corrector. I'm having a good skin day. Um, I used Ash Contour here, 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 and here, and if I didn't have fringe, it would be up here. Um, I used Plum 
and Summer Love for my lip and cheek, on my cheeks, and then for on my lips, I used Dahlia, and then I went over it with Black Cherry, and I did a little dab of Blondie right there to, um, to just give me, you can see, it makes my lips uh, look larger and pop forth, and it's, it's just lovely, and it's so cool with this makeup, how you can switch it around and use, you know, like, like eyeshadow, um, on your lips and you can use lip and cheek on your eyes and I mean the possibilities are endless so I love it um, on my eyes I just I went for kind of a basic <laughs> a neutral look but not basic um, so I went in with vanilla dust just to be quick about it I then went in with um, as if angels landing and drift and then I bought the drift up here and up here straight across and then I went in with Aries you can see right there that pop that's the areas popping. But I wanted a good, um, I'm contrasty, so I wanted to even increase that contrast between um, my eyelid space and my brows. Speaking of brows, I am wearing um, the coal, which I love. Other shades that you could try would be uh, Trust and Oak. They're very good if you have lighter brows than me, and a lot of people do. And um, I am wearing L'Oreal Ultimate Mascara on my bottom lashes in, um, is it unlimited though? Yeah, I think it is, I always do that, but I think it's ultimate. <laughs> but um, waterproof, uh, because it's, I'm a professional photographer, I have against the camera, and I'm wearing Lashify again, and I'm loving them. Take a look at these ladies, and take a look at the beautiful eyeshadow look I've created. And I didn't finish, because what I did do is I sparkled a little glass slipper on the inside, and I also took a little angel here and here, and I really kind of pumped up the volume, and I took a Marc Jacobs liner on the inside, which is called Lunatic, and <laughs> it's like a silvery purple, and um, used that to even open my eyes up more, and I did a very, very thin, thin line of um, the Stila All Day Jet Black Liquid waterproof eyeliner and that is the total eye look but I just wanted to let you know what I did hey watch my videos on YouTube they are so detailed the makeup videos and you can see how to do this all in detail I give all kinds of tips so yeah get out there and watch those videos um, but now for real without further ado <laughs> let's get on to the fashioning all right so this started out being just like a one outfit thing and then I just it just evolved into more so I'm going to talk to you about how I curated this outfit and then I'm going to change it up with accessories coats boots handbags you name it and um, we're just gonna get a bunch of different looks I actually bought the rack here because I didn't want to forget anything I wanted to kind of shout out to all you lovely women in the north where it's still going to be cold for a while and i also wanted to say hey to all my southern ladies um, with ways that um, you could do this it may be a raincoat might be more appropriate <laughs> for this time of year or nothing uh, was it friday friday or saturday it was like 71 degrees and then it went back to 50. it's um if you don't like the weather here it will change let me tell you <laughs> all right so um, let me just start from the beginning, feeling a bit like a ninja, but a beautiful ninja in my um, beautiful black silk. I'm wearing all silk from <laughs> um, bottom to top, but I'm going to start like I usually do from the bottom to the top uh, and kind of work my way upward and give tips and um, note stuff as it's appropriate. So this is going to be a good one. So if you want to pause it, and get a little something to drink and make yourself comfortable. That would be a good time to do that now. And um, yeah, on my feet, I am wearing my Matisse full grain leather Croc nine inch shaft boots. Okay, I love these. Um, I bought these with the greatest intention of wearing them with more cropped pieces when I wanted no leg really to show. I wanted a continuous a continuous monochromatic line from the bottom to the top, no breaks. That being said, these um, pants that I'm going to be wearing, if I was wearing them in the summer, totally perfectly acceptable to be wearing them with sandals or something. So you're going to be seeing these pants again and they're so multi-purpose, but back to the boots. Okay, so the reason 
One of the reasons, many reasons why I love these boots is that they have a pointed toe. So if you are um, petite like me, the pointed toe is going to make you look longer and leaner. Okay, and that's just how it is. It's, uh, it's, it's just the way it works visually. And um, pointed toes will always make you look longer and leaner and taller. Uh, it's it's not really visual trickery. It's just how your eye and your brain perceives things Okay, and um, I love wearing pointed boots um, for that fact Okay, so and then the nine inch shaft really it doesn't break my line. So I love that and I love very comfortable speaking of which and uh, the slope uh, is great Okay, I am not leaning forward like this. I've uh, I spoke to you about that before. If you put on a pair of boots or any kind of shoes, stilettos, whatever, and you feel like this, don't buy them. <laughs> they, the, the, I call those dinner shoes where you can barely get out of the car, you can barely walk to your seat, you can barely make it back. Who wants to wear those? I mean, you're gonna pay a lot of money for them anyway. Just want, buy ones with a good slope where you're just standing, you feel great, okay? So, um, these have an excellent slope. They're about three inches and um, they do everything that I want them to do for me. Okay, so that's the Matisse um, Croc nine inch shaft boots and it's nice to have one pair of boots with a taller shaft. You will find certain pieces in your wardrobe that will really work well with a higher shaft. So if you, you know, if that's, um, if that's one of your goals that you're writing in your wardrobe robe goals, to acquire a pair of them and you know it's a good thing and also if you you know if you just want to go out and get them it's a good you know it's more than a basic because it's you know it just has uh what do I want to say it, it my other Talbot boots they're fabulous but having that higher shaft is just something special and you'll find it working with more special pieces so I'm going to say it's 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 not an essential basic but it's an extra basic that's how I'll put it to you and it's a nice thing to have okay so I have to get the name of these silk pants correct um, they're called Rami Brook okay or Rami Bo Brook Rami Rami I think Rami sounds better I'm gonna go with Rami Brook <laughs> okay you go to these websites they don't have pronunciation keys in them but I think Rami it's R-A-M-Y and then Brook so I'm gonna go with Rami Brook. I think it just sounds more sophisticated or, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I found these at Divine Consign in Charlotte. Okay, shout out to Divine Consign in Charlotte. It was just around their winter clearance time. Again, I picked, you know, something up that was a steal. I looked these up. Okay, uh, on the website, and they run anywhere from $245 to $345, okay? There is nothing wrong with these, okay? I, the, I mean, I checked them from top to bottom. These, these are just fabulous. I don't know whether the people who bought them just didn't, they didn't know how to wear them. They didn't know how to style them. They just, or somebody purchased it for them, and they're just like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know. But um, I will tell you, look at this. Um, what did I say? Yeah, it's R, yeah, R -A, R A M Y Brook black pants. It's silk. These are 100% mulberry silk. Well, no, they have like 1% elastane or something. And kid you not, I paid $42 for them. So I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so get out there to Divine Consign or your nearest consignment shop and do your homework. Um, there's nothing wrong with if, if you find something and you're not sure like is this really a fantastic deal just break out your cell, cell phone look it up and see what these pants usually go for or this blouse or this dress uh, shop smart ladies okay it's not how much you make it's how you spend it okay that's what they call savvy and you want to be savvy with your shopping. You want to have wardrobe goals. There's nothing wrong with keeping a notebook of your essential basics, your wanna-haves, your, this would really <laughs> make my day. Um, and, and when you kind of work your wardrobe that way, you will find that once you get your basics going, uh, you're just, 
everything that you purchase in the future is going to, you already have your basics, so they're gonna be more like showcase pieces. And when you get to that stage, it's really exciting. Uh, so, so let me continue with these pants. They are drawstring, but they just sit so nicely on me. Um, and like I said, I'm rather feeling like a ninja <laughs> in the all black, but you're gonna see that I'm gonna break that up with jackets and coats and accessories. I mean, immediately you're just looking at me right now and I'm, I'm getting off the pants again, but if I wanted, I could wear this lovely silk scarf with this shirt. And what you do is you tie it, like you fold it and tie it around and just, you know, very small, just a little loop to the side. So you've just got a little bit piece. This is the 23 uh, inch scarf, the smallest ones they make. Uh, I picked this up, up off of Amazon, but I love the gold, you know, the gold and then the black. And um, yeah, so, but uh, there's nothing wrong with all black, feeling very monochromatic, feeling really cool. Um, these pants, um, they have a, an elastic on the bottom, but the bottom is, is like sitting, not really in, but right at the top of the shaft of the boots. So I couldn't have even had these tailored more perfect for me. There's a pocket in the back, not that I would use it. I think it's more there to, <laughs> to just, it's part of the style. I didn't even check if it did work, but I wouldn't put, I would never put my anything in the back of a pocket of a pair of silk pants. I mean, my jeans, I'm always sticking my phone in the back pocket. Uh, not white jeans though, because you'll get makeup all over them. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> All right, so these pants are absolutely fabulous. They do have the pockets in the front. Yes, you can put your hands in them. Make sure that you're um, nice and manicured. You don't have any cliffhangers or anything because that will pull the silk. And then the pockets do have um, a piping on the front side and, and um, they're just made so well, okay? <laughs> it's a, it's a, you can see that they're just quality and I love them and I love the fact too that come this spring, this summer, that I'm going to be wearing these with little short sleeve tops and sandals. And um, so these are seasonless pants. I mean, silk is all year round. If you don't know that, I'm telling you now, it's all year around. So um, that's just something that I wanted to tell you. Okay, so um, let's just get on to my top, which is a uh, Lily Silk. Uh, if you haven't heard of Lily Silk, they've been around for a while now. They make the most beautiful and I would say affordable um, silk shirts. Uh, I have a few now. I, that was one of my goals to, um, to collect a few in a, in a few different colors. Silk shirts, there's nothing like silk. Um, just learn how to care for it. I will tell you that I hand wash and cold all my silks. I have a professional steamer. I steam them, I don't iron them and um and it, it works out fine they work out beautiful so you'll see something that i'm doing here again so if i wanted to and if i wanted to not have these cuffed this shirt is uh small it fits me perfectly okay i probably could tuck this in a little better here i've been making many trips up the stairs to bring everything into my studio which is, is at the top of my uh building here but anyway um and I've actually done what I call a J crew kind of cuff on the sleeve so that my wrists can show and it does cut down all the black and it does make me look taller and leaner. If you don't know what that is, let me just undo this for a second. So I left, um, it has two buttons. I left one done just to keep it tighter and I rolled it up like this. Okay, and that's what I just call it, the J. Crew cuff, because that's where I first heard of it. And then I roll this part up like this. And till it meets the other part. And just kind of check that everything's laying nice, but you'll see, this is really nice and it stays. I could be going like this, doing stuff all day. It would stay. Okay, so, um, I think right now it'd be appropriate time just to talk about my jewelry because we're gonna have a lot of accessories and me changing up and changing tops. And um, so let me just talk about the, the accessories that I chose to wear with this. And I'm wearing the same ones with everything. So um, I am wearing my two-tone 
Pulsar watch, my white, gold, and yellow gold bangle. I am wearing my chunky gold earrings with my mom's wedding band that I think match so well. I am wearing my um, platinum wedding band and then I'm wearing this special um, necklace that my husband purchased for me uh, this Christmas from Allen's Jewelers. So shout out to Allen's Jewelers of Charlotte. Okay, um, this is so lovely. It's black and white diamonds. And I kind of told the story on another video, so I'll keep it brief, but um, there was just something that really attracted me to it. We were looking at a sapphire piece. I love sapphire, whatever, but this was just like, I don't know. And, um, and, and the women that were working there, they were so good at the owner and her daughter. And they were just like, you know, we want you to pick something that will not sit in your in, in a drawer or you know, you know your jewelry uh, box all the time. Something that you will wear, you know, regularly and enjoy. And of course, you know, they're speaking my language when they talk like that. You know, my opinions on, um, you know, wearing your clothes. Don't let your good stuff sit in the closet. Hashtag life is not a dress rehearsal. rehearsal. <laughs> Hashtag. Um, dress your best, okay? Dress your best every day. Uh, we don't know how many days we have, so might as well look good while you're living them, okay? Don't don't leave your best sitting in the closet. Just just live your life, wear it, just enjoy it, okay? Enjoy the things that you have. You worked hard for them, okay? Um, so anyway, this is a beautiful piece. Uh, you know, it, it's like white gold. I love this part right here the way and, and it allows it to hang so nicely I'm sure there's a yeah, I should look it up but <laughs> if you want to mention it in the comments feel free um, I have so many things to, to remember <laughs> sometimes I just start doing these videos and I think oh maybe I should have done that but anyway this is a lovely piece and the thing about it is that later on I was looking I'm like it reminds me of a magnolia it reminds me of my logo and I'm like, who knows, maybe that's what it was. But um, yeah, my husband did well and I totally wasn't expecting it. I, um, I did so well this year. I, don't, I got a, a violin and I don't know that I deserved all this, but I'm very thankful and I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> all right, so let's keep going. So like I said, if you were just gonna wear this look and it was warm and you wanted to just break it up with a little bit, you could like maybe, if you were a taller person, I don't usually wear really dangly dangly, but you can, um, even as a petite. Um, you could add a little jewelry to it, you know, a little more than this really, you know, soft, beautiful, basic piece. Um, you can add a scarf to break up the black. Um, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna just look at some other stuff. Okay, so let's first look at two different jackets. Yeah, let's look at two different, Actually, we're gonna do three. <laughs> okay, so let's first look at this cream. Okay, so if you remember in the Valentine's video, I, uh, I had a pleather, <laughs> a black pleather um, crop jacket. And it's uh, from Macy's and it was called, And Now This. Well, here we go. I did decide to get it. I would say this is a creamy ivory. Now I have to watch the cream being cooler and neutral. And so if it was too cream, mm, I might not be able to handle it, but this is okay. This works on me. So I love the fact that it's so cropped. Okay, everything about this I loved. And um, so I purchased this so I could wear this like in the, in the, well, in the heat of the summer here in South Carolina, I won't be wearing this unless I have an air conditioning issue or we get a cold evening by the shore or something. Um, but the only thing that didn't fit me were the sleeves and I had them tailored so that this jacket was an Emmy jacket, belongs to Emmy, fits Emmy perfectly. And that's what you need to do for yourself. Um, I, if you are a local lady, I highly recommend Tess tailoring and alterations and dry cleaning. She does a fabulous job. They are so nice there. Um, their work is so good, so timely. Uh, I can't say enough good things about them. They've done so much work for me. And I, I've mentioned that before, that tailoring is really important. If you can find yourself a good tailor and um, 
There's different things that they do. Now this one didn't have buttons, but I had other buttons and they reattached the buttons. Um, there's different things they can do too. They can reattach a hem on the bottom of jeans that makes it look like nothing happened, you know, that it, but, but I mean, and well, that will cost you more too, but you know, isn't it nice to have things that look like they were perfectly made for you? And um, if you do good with the sales, you know, the tailoring doesn't hurt that much. And um, it's a really important step um, in, in creating your wardrobe um, your per and your personal style, okay? So, I mean, you're gonna see this in the fashioning. And, um, but yeah, I recommend this jacket. I don't know if they still have it, but um, I will list it below. It's lovely and you'll see it in the fashioning. So um, one thing I wanted to say about it though that you're gonna notice Okay, so I'm always preaching crop jacket, crop jacket, crop jacket. And yeah, I still do. This is going to make me so much taller looking. Okay, and I can button this and I can unbutton it. It just it depends on what I'm feeling like. Okay, the next jacket I'm gonna show you is a little longer on me. And I would recommend in this, in, in this particular base that I'm wearing not to button it because it's longer. Okay, but this white jacket is really gonna make you look slimmer. You wouldn't think, you'd say, oh, maybe just wear all black. Mm. The thing about that is visually, when you're wearing the white jacket, it just makes the black look all the more, <laughs> it, it pulls you in more. It, it just, the contrast of it slims you. Okay, so I know there's like, it's, sometimes it's like a brain bender, but it's the truth and it will slim you. Okay, and you'll see it in the fashioning. It'd be really evident. So I'll, I'll try this on uh, buttoned and unbuttoned. I'm gonna have to do a lot of fashioning to keep up with all this talking. Okay, so this is what I'm showing you next. So this is um, the White House Black Market. Um, okay, one of their beautiful white jackets. This um, is just the plain, I would say ivory. It's still not pure white. Um, but this is longer than I'm almost comfortable with, but there's ways to conquer that, okay? And, I'm, and, and what you don't want to do with something, now this would fit most people just fine. It would be like, I don't know. And, and I'm not sure where, it, it might fall about there on me. So, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna buy a jacket that's way too long on me. Um, in the future, I, I have some things coming up where I'm going to be, um, working with another company and I can't guarantee because I don't <laughs> know everything about the, the clothing that I'm going to be getting, but I'm gonna show you, if it's not right, how to make it right to fit you. So you will have circumstances like that or, um, anyway, I'm just gonna tell you that this one with this outfit, I will keep unbuttoned and it will show your waistline and everything more and give you that um, leaner look and that separation of color, which is going to make you look longer, leaner, taller. Okay. All right. Moving right along. I have all black on. Of course, um, you can see right here, I have this uh, beautiful London fog. Um, black raincoat with a light blue lining. It's got a hood, like you're totally prepared for any weather with this. But I, not, I, I could wear this with this, but I'm not. I'm not gonna necessarily, but I could. Of course, I have the option of wearing my, um, my biker, um, I wanna say my Michael Kors. I mean, this is so vintagey looking with the belt and, and I could wear my le leather bray with it and everything, totally. And I pro I'm not gonna fashion it with that because we have too many things here. But what I was really picturing this with, because it was all black, I wanted to make a statement. And that is where my statement coat comes in. And so I spoke about this I made the mistake um, of hanging it next to a long wool burgundy coat. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't hang it next to your black coat. Put it in its own little place <laughs> or cover it. Um, it's a really cute coat. I believe I purchased it from Amazon. It is a little curly, I don't know, reminds me of like curly goat or lamb or something. Um, and it's really super stinking cute. 
And um, I just wanted one like that. And I think that looks the best with this, um, this outfit. Again, that whole thing of the black and the white, and that's what we're talking about here. I really wanted to make this black and white thing apparent to you and show you how it visually um, cuts you, makes you look slimmer um, instead of wearing the black jacket, um, which you know you might think right away, well, yeah. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways to change it up, but let me just um, grab the jacket for you. Okay, oh goodness, I forgot to cut the tag off of this one, okay. All right, so here we go. Um, look at this, isn't this cute? It's cropped, it's furry. And now a lot, now usually I don't wear things too puffy being a soft gamine, okay? But this is just cute and I really call it like a statement coat and it's just, it, it fits me well. I, I ordered a few of them and I turned, uh, I turned them away, I sent them back. I turned them away, I'm sorry coats, I don't know. But this was what I was looking for, exactly. And um, I'll go back in my orders and, and list it below. It says, blank NYC in a small, blank NYC. All right, so, and um, it, yeah, it does have a lining in it. It doesn't, it has a clip, one of those clips. So this is definitely, this is not, you know, don't go out in 32 degree weather and, 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 and text me and say, I got hypothermia. <laughs> no, this one is just, you know, it's a statement coat, it's fun. Um, and um, yeah, I love this. So, um, you, you know, you're gonna see it in the fashioning and it's so fun. I'm gonna change out, with everything I wear, I'll change out a few accessories. And um, yeah, um, so yeah. Um, Blank NYC statement coat, love it, a lot of fun. Fashion should be fun. Um, so that's all I'll say about this one. And don't hang it, <laughs> don't hang it by your, um, <laughs> by your black or dark things. Um, and I did want to try this on. This is adorable, okay? So this is very sexy here, this shirt, <laughs> as compared to this adorableness. And, um, yeah, I wanted to show you the silk pants with a sweater. This is a CC sweater, okay, that I purchased either at Macy's or Nordstrom. Um, it has a pretty eyelet detail on it, and it's just cute. It's, you know, it goes in at the sleeves, and it just is a different look. So I wanted to show you that different look, and it just, just to change things up. But you will see how it all works together. So, um, yeah, that's a different look. And then just picture, I'm, I'm gonna do this in the summer, but picture it having some shorter sleeve, um, lovely tops with these black pants that will be so comfortable being silk in the summer. And um, yeah, so these, you know, this is very, we're, we're doing this more geared toward, you know, February, which it is, and March and wherever you live, a little, little bit cooler, but this could so change into something um, you could turn this all upside down and you could be wearing it in, in, the, um, in the spring and the summer. And, and I like clothes that do double duty for me like that. And so the last thing I'm gonna to touch upon is um, the bags that I'm gonna be wearing. Okay, uh, so I've got the Matisse um, Croc boots. So of course I am going to wear my um, black Mini Quinn Brahmin. It goes with it like, I mean, <laughs> it was just like a no-brainer. Um, great bags. I happened to purchase this one on eBay for a song. If you're looking for the basics, uh, I always say this, go, go to Brahmin and just, you know, or, you know, department store, whatever. But if you just want some small basics uh, that fit you in proportion for your smaller size torso like mine, um, a great place to purchase is eBay. Um, and yeah, you'll get it for a song. Don't be afraid to uh, make an offer too. Um, squeaky wheel gets the grease. They can always refuse it, but you know, maybe they'll say yes. And they have done that for me a few times. Okay, and um, this one I purchased at the, at the shop. This is the Mini Duxbury. Um, I love this one too because of the small proportion. I mean, the cream, the cream, the white, the cream, it, they, it goes together. It, I wear this with so much. I love the feet on the bottom of these. And even though these are small purses, 
they actually hold so much okay um i have like everything in here you know i just something i'm going to tell you like what's in my purse and you're going to think there's like a hole under the table where <laughs> and i can find everything and i actually do certain things to it that will be a fun little video we'll do that um and then last but not least i am going to um just like break the rules oh you know and i'm gonna be wearing um these um gianni beanie boots uh gbs uh in this like creamy top um i love these boots they are so gorgeous give you another little look i get a lot of wear out of these and um yeah i'm just going to change things up with those okay and last but not least i just wanted to mention that I'm gonna be wearing. I, I think I'm gonna pick one of these up in wool. Ha this happens to be a knitted one, and I just love the style of it. I picked this up off of Amazon, and knitted is, is totally acceptable and everything, but um, I really want to have a um, ivory beret in wool. So I'm gonna be picking that up. That that will go on my like hunting list, <laughs> my wardrobe hunting list. And then, of course, um, I have my beautiful um let me just set this thing gg pip um monroe rancher in cream okay um 100 percent australian wool here's the little gg pip emblem it's a beautiful teardrop shape um i love their hats they're so well made i can't say enough good things about them i particularly love this one in ivory um, and this one is cooler. They have a lot of cream ones out there, but if you are cooler, cooler, neutral kind of person like me, this is the hat for you. And then of course it's got the nice lining inside, it says GG Pip, and it also says for the woman, here's the woman that wears many hats, and that would be me, okay? So I, uh, I love the, did I say the grow grain ribbon on this side? Um, and I'm gonna be introducing another GG Pip hat in the future. And um, I will often stick a little feather in here. Um, some of the ones you can even personalize more with bands and things like that, but they just go with so much. They give you so much presence. You think about it too. Think about me being five foot one, and then I put on a pair of three inch heels. And then this, this is one, two, three, four, uh, almost five inches, but then it sits on my head. But then you add three inches to me, you add five inches to me. I'm at about five foot eight at that point. Um, so it does add so much um, visual presence and so much fashion presence. And, um, and I like that, okay? All right, lovely ladies. I think I'm just gonna, um, yeah, conclude this video. I hope you enjoy all the fashioning and I hope you found some of these tips um, really um, helpful and, and maybe surprising. Okay, um, these are things that I've learned around, uh, like along the way, and they've really made a difference for me in my dressing and things that I thought that I couldn't do that I could do that actually made me look better. So um, yeah, I hope, I hope um, like I translated that to you well. And yeah, so hey, if you're just, uh, I'm, I've been here for about a year now, uh, kind of started this during the pandemic, but if you're new here, um, I am on Facebook and Instagram, okay, as Eloquently Emmy. And um, yeah, if you like content like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe and then hit the bell for notifications, okay? Um, I would really appreciate that. And um, I really do enjoy making these videos for you. <laughs> Um, it's probably pretty apparent. So um, with that being said, um, oh, I didn't uh, want to forget to, again, if you're interested in the Saint makeup, don't forget to um, click uh, want a color match. If you'd like a color match, you want to go that route or just click shop and um, you will be taken to my website and I will be your artist and I will be there to help you in your Saint journey the whole way through any questions, troubleshooting, I've got your back, okay? All right, so hey, I hope you enjoyed this Fashion Moment 31, and I hope you have a lovely week ahead and, um, and weekend to come, and I wanna thank you for your time, and I wanted to say to always remember to wear your sunscreen, 
even in the winter time. And always remember to live life passionately. A little different than all the rest. A quiet old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage.